<clears throat> so I think I got my settings dialed in now. And you got one? You got one? You got one? Then bring it over here. So it's like a film it over. Oh, look at that! Hi, <laughs> jumping. <laughs> That's your third one. Come over here. Over here. Come over here. Bring it over here. So I got my, I got my, I got my settings dialed in, and I think it got away. Let me get. It's, okay. uh, it's small, but it's a fish. Let me see. Bring it in. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring, bring it here. Bring. Okay. The, the, this is my. This is my wife's third fish. I put her on a. On some rocks. At the edge over there. Number that's number three. three. That's number three. They're not big, but they're they you know. It's a fish, so we're over here fun fishing. <laughs> Come on, Max. You want to say hi? Hey. doesn't like it anymore. No, I guess because it's not big enough. <laughs> so what I, what I did was that I think I figured out why why Hummingbird was recommending 15 three, three. on the sensitivity and one on the contrast. And it dawned on me that it could be because they didn't have the choke on. So what? what yeah, last night, last night, uh, your yesterday, what I did was I, I put a four bank battery charger that charges lithium and AGM on the boat, and I replaced the three uh, the three bank that I had. So after I did that installation yesterday, I. Uh, I said, let me see, you know what, the, ba the old battery charger had the, the choke on, connected to the, you know, to the wires and ho hooked up to the, to the battery. So when I took it off, I'm like, well, you know what, let me try this without the, without the choke. And sure and behold, the picture's a lot cleaner, it's not that distorted. And I could, I could actually push up the sensitivity, it doesn't look, it doesn't look dirty. Uh, so I did that and then on top of that what I did was that since I'm fishing it with 60 40 to 60 you know uh, when you when you when you set up the degrees on the transducer you have to match the transducer to those degrees so if you have it if you have it to the M to the M or uh, to the F that's that's I think that's 30 or 40 30 or 40 degrees so that means that you have to set your transducer to, to uh, set it to that it's uh it's four clicks and that's the f i believe it is or so three clicks and that's the f so you gotta set it to that degree when you set up your your mega three um, your mega live so I, I pushed it up to six and i'm set and i got my degree set to 60. so it's a little bit more the bigger so I, I see more straight down than behind the boat i don't need to see behind the boat anyway and i could bump up the sensitivity it doesn't look dirty so what I'm gonna do is that matter of fact, let me get my, my phone and I could, I'm gonna record this on my phone. That way you guys could see. You guys could see how does it look, how clean it looks. With the that's a big ball of fish. That's not sensitivity. That right there is with these settings. Oh, sorry. That's with these settings. Look right there. I got 14 and 11 right there and it's not dirty that's a ball of fish that's a ball of bait bait uh, bait fish right there so that's what that is and I got it at 70 and I could still go out to 100 110 and you see that it's clean with all the sensitivity all bumped up and so let's let me let's go over here let's put it at one the way they recommend it See how clean it looks? That is the reason why, because they didn't have the choke on and they didn't have that mass, that mass tape on the transducer. So I took both of them off and look how clean it looks. Now I'm using green, cause green pops out pretty good. Okay, so I'm not using, now I'm a Mega, I'm a Mega 360, that's what I'm using. And you could see fish right here, fish right here. You, uh, you could be able to see some fish, but I'm gonna show you the settings that I got on my, 
on my 360. There they go right there. I got sensitivity 6, contrast 16, and I got on color palette 2. It gives me a good amber, and with that contrast set up that high and the sensitivity low, I could see those fish just stand out. I mean, enormously. I could see them a mile away. Okay, so that's what I got. Okay, so hopefully this helps you, and this helps everybody. See, look, look at that. Look how clean it looks with the sensitivity at 15. I was wondering why they wanted 15, and it looks so dirty, and it's because they don't have to choke on it. You know, they don't have to choke. And look, the contrast one. Now, if you want to bump up the contrast, then, hey, go ahead. You know, it makes the fish pop out a little bit more. The, the water is maybe like about two, you can see visibility up to two feet, maybe, maybe. On this, uh, I'm in Lake Belton again. So that's, that's, how, uh, that's how it looks. You see how clean it looks? So you could actually go to 20 if you want. Fish, little fish. Right in front of the right in front of the transducer, you don't see them there. So, so what I did was that I I, I trolled around, I you know I idled around, uh, found some bait fish. I went came to a drop off. You know the water's low; it's four and a half feet low. So my drop off is right at the edge of a sandbar. So um, I positioned the bone, had my wife cast to that. I'm doing some long casts. I'm trying to catch something at, uh, with a deep diving crankbait. Hopefully I get lucky on that. So, you know, with, with that said, matter of fact, I don't, I don't want to keep it at 20. I'm going to keep it at 14. And I'm going to keep this at 9. And that works for me right there. So hopefully this is going to work for everybody. Okay. And like I said, here's the, here's the, the my settings for the Mega 360. Okay, hopefully that works for everybody. So, so far, so good. My wife has caught three on that drop-off. I mean, two on the drop-off and one over there close to the, to the bank. So, she's in a good spot. I set her up pretty good. We're only here fun fishing, you know. And, you know, today's my birthday, so we're going to... Enjoy a few more, about another hour before we, we head out. Oh, that's a big fish over there jumping around. I think they're feeding. Or maybe they... So I'm pretty much using the Mega 360 for my fishing and if I see something on the Mega Live, then that's fine. But, you know. So it just dawned on me. Yesterday, when I was changing the, the, the four bank, the three bank for the four bank, and Sure enough, I decided to put it today in the water just to test it. And lo and behold, you don't see that dirty screen. And looks like I don't know if I don't know if the firmware uh, was something that eliminated the the choke. You know, they recommend the choke when you first get the mega the mega live, but you know, and I follow those instructions, you know, to their specifications. And I don't know. I'm not even getting interference from the 360 anymore. And I was getting that before. So I don't know if that was a, a firmware upgrade. Or, or it was just a choke. But as you can see how clear that screen is. So I was wondering why 15 and 1, and lo and behold, there it is. I'm hitting bottom here. I think I'm, I'm about 20 feet deep. So I'm trying to see if I could make a cast and see this, but I'm, I'm, I'm on spot lock right now and it's a little bit hard. So let me...
saw some fish over there, so I'm trying to cast to them. You see, they're roamers. They're not actually there. I don't. I doubt that's gonna be there. But I, I cast as soon as that the bar went went by. You ready, babe? Huh? Huh? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so So I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna put the the settings, the new settings and the instructions. That way, hopefully that helps everybody because everybody's using the mask that it came with, that little foam, little tape that you put it right around the transducer, that round edge. That, you know, the, it's straight down, then you got a little round semicircle and you put it on the top part. And that's supposed to be so it could just help you just keep the cone in check. And I took that off and it, it, it helped quite a bit. I could see the lure out there at 85, 90 feet. That's a, that's, keep that in mind, that's a, that's a 10XD. Okay, so if you're trying to throw a jig out there, I don't know if you could be able to see it. You know, it looks small. Um, the other thing is that I did take the choke off of the, the, the battery charger. So, well, I didn't take it off. When I removed the old battery charger, I, didn't, I chose not to put it back on. And just to test it out. And I like the results a whole lot better than what they were before. So hopefully this is something that's going to help you. If it does help you, you know, like, share, subscribe, share with another friend. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that bought the Mega Live, and I know, I know, I was disappointed for a little bit, but I'm happy with the results. And now I got it at a setting that I could see it, understand it, and it helps me uh, do what I have to do. And I could identify the fish, and I, I, I'm used to it. So, and that's the whole thing. Nothing's gonna replace time in the water, time with the equipment, using it, and you know, you gotta play with it. You gotta play with it because whatever works for me might not work for you. You know, my eyes are different. I wear glasses. You know, you ha I have polarized glasses so if you don't have the glasses you have decent polarized glasses or cheap polarized glasses uh the it might not it might my settings might not work exactly the way they work for me for you but at least it'll give you a starting point where you could start at and adjust it from there so you know if uh if you don't if you don't mind taking the choke off i will take that thing off and the other thing is that i will take that i take off that mask off and you know i don't you're gonna see the results you are going to see the results. Uh, I mean, they're great. They, they're <laughs> a whole lot different. 15 and 1 was a very dirty screen. And I didn't put the choke, I I didn't put the choke on and did not, and took off the mask. And the, it's, a, it's a clean, clean uh, screen at 15 and 1. So, uh, without further ado, on to the next one.